And here come the teams at the EBB Stadium. Decent crowd in this afternoon, much better weather conditions than Tuesday night. And the shots whose performance on Tuesday night will have encouraged the Red and Blue faithful. A draw against second place Bromley then. Now they entertain seventh place Rochdale. The shots in their home kit of uh, red and blue striped shirts and uh, red shorts and red socks. And Rochdale in an all yellow strip peppered with a little pattern on it. Can't quite see what the pattern is or the colour, but largely yellow. And Aldershot Town will line up as follows. Jordi Van Stappershoof in goal, Harfield, Harries and Rowe, the centre-backs, Scott and Glover, the wing-backs. Uh, O'Keefe and Tetek renew their partnership in the middle of midfield, and then Josh Stokes behind Lauren Tolage and Jack Parra. That is a very healthy attendance from Rochdale. Probably over 200 there, Steve. Yeah, it's a decent turnout. Certainly, yeah, they're hopeful that their team might uh, uh, upset the odds, overcome adversity and uh, pick up something here this afternoon that I think would represent for them a very good result. Here's Harry's coming forward. Uh, Barham, fresh haircut. And he'll be looking for some fresh opportunities in front of goal as well. And now a combination of Stokes and Tolad has won it back. Stuart Keith does well to win it. Sends it out to the right-hand side where Barham might get on it in the edge of the area. One touch inside. Tolad, 1-0! To the shots, in truth, Barham's shot was off target and it ran beautifully to Lauren Tolage, who seven days ago made two goals on Tuesday, he scored his 17th, now his 18th goal of the season. And our radio listeners joined us in perfect time for that sixth minute goal for the shots. Lauren Tolage, 1 0 the shots. He could quite easily, yeah, it wasn't the most certain and assured first touch, but. Yeah, he's kept it clear, and now Rochdale are up to the halfway. But, yeah, I think that 4-4-2, it does allow Aldershot Towns maybe more fluid formation with the wing-backs, with that, that central midfield pairing, and particularly Tetek, who has started excellently again, backed by the, the solidity, the experience of O'Keefe. And then Josh Stokes just picking up pockets of play, if only. Ball through the middle, taken down by Henderson, and he slots it home for his 11th goal of the season and it's route one for Rochdale and they've made it count. Ian Henderson with the goal, the Rochdale number 40. And here we are, 10 and a half minutes in, Aldershot Town one, Rochdale one, and Aldershot have conceded Steve four minutes after taking the lead. Yeah, it's, it's a sucker punch in, in lots of different ways. Aldershot Town, just it, and it was route one, just one ball over the top, but that's the quality that Henderson brings. Harry's out to the left-hand side to Harfield. And uh, Aldershot have possession just inside the Rochdale half. Harry's is going to send the ball straight through the middle, looking for Tolad. Ooh, Ebanks, Blake got a touch on it. Tolad tries a shot anyway, and it scuffs just wide. And we're in a little moment here where some parts of the pitch stopped and others carried on. Ebanks, Blake got a touch that stopped it going straight to Tolad, but it didn't stop Tolad retrieving it but I think Barham thought the ball had gone away and when Tolledge squared it across the goal there was no shots player in sight Steve no there wasn't I think in the end Laurent just thought well I'll have a shot anyway no matter the pro prohibitive angle but last season and we'll do an update for our radio listeners shortly but uh, corner to be taken by Ryan East low to the far post where it's picked up by Kyron Gordon and the jeers behind the East Bank will tell you that that one went a little bit high and a little bit wide. Here's Van Stappershoef in possession inside his own penalty area. Steve, is there a little bit of a stalemate going on at the minute? Both sides look more threatening early on and they may be getting to grips with each other a bit now. Yeah, I think so. I think the game is... Oh, uh... it's Glover taking that ball nicely. He's into the penalty area. He's in the penalty area. He's got company there from Tolledge. I don't blame him for trying the shot in the end, and it's well saved by Tin and Brooks behind the goal. Tolledge wanted it squared, but I could see... Glover could see a little shrivel of light, couldn't he? And uh, he went for the shot. Well saved, Tin and Brooks. Harry's clips a ball down the left-hand side to find Frost. Frost tries to get the little flick ball on to Stokes. Stokes has got it, rolls back onto his right foot. O'Keefe takes it well and goes forward. He's pulled down. Penalty. And well done, Stuart O'Keefe. 
Perhaps his best attacking moment in an Aldershot Town shirt so far. Made the forward one, took the ball beautifully in his stride and was pulled down. No complaints at all from Rochdale. Kian Harris then left footed. 44th minute here at the EBB. 1 0. Can he put the shots ahead? Yes, he can. Pretty much the same penalty as he took at Kidderminster seven days ago. Goal number six of the season for Kian Harris. Second goal of the afternoon for the shots. All the shot down two, Rochdale one. You can see why Kian Harris has scored all six of his penalties this season. Brooks went the way that I think everybody thought Harris was going to put it. He opens his body, he angles it as though he's going to place it to his left, the goalkeeper's right. And then at the last second, he just drags his foot around and redirects it into the other corner. The goalkeeper ends up looking like he's guessed wrong. But 99% of that time, the goalkeeper is sure that he's going to get it. To half clear it, only as far as E. Banks Landell. And now East is back on the ball, on the edge of the penalty area, exchanging passes with Kyron John. And, uh, well, Rochdale have been given a, a free kick right on the edge of the area against Kean Harris on Ian Henderson. Ryan East takes a couple of steps back. Is East going to strike it left-footed? No, Sinclair does. And he got a lot of dip on it. And it dipped down below the goal, but came just over the bar somehow, Steve. It wasn't far away. It wasn't far away, no. And Jordi had to, had to dive full stretch to uh, just to make sure, just to usher it over the bar. I had the 39th on Tuesday and it came in the 36th, so I'm getting closer. And today, well, I forgot my cash, so I, 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 I didn't have a dog in the race, as they say. Here's Stokes winning the ball. He's trying to shot from distance. Oh, it's just wide. It's an outrageous effort. And Stokes looks over to the bench, his tongue out. Widrington claps and applauds. Wonderful moment. There are over 3,000 people, 3,011 here at the EBB this afternoon. 183 Rochdale fans, we doff our cap to them. That is a terrific turnout from uh, Lancashire. And uh, here they come now down the left-hand side, looking to square it back. Henderson holding it up inside the penalty area, goes back, it's squared across, follow-up shot, is on target and saved low down to his left by Jordi van Stapperschuf. We might have taken a touch, but helps it on to Frost. Frost finds Harfield. Harfield finds Josh Stokes on the left-hand side of the penalty area, and uh, he loses the ball, dives in and wins it back again. Harfield, Tetek into Stokes, ball round the corner. Tetek, little back heel, back to Harfield. Harfield back to O'Keefe. O'Keefe into Tetek. Good movement from the shots. Here's Stokes, edge of the penalty, trying a shot. Little deflection on it, parried away out to the right, where Glover should be able to... Retrieve it and send it back in. Sustained period of attack from the shots. O'Keefe tries to turn inside the penalty area. That doesn't come off. Tyler just got it. Oh, it's down off the underside of the bar. Hit the underside of the bar, bounced down around the goal line and then was cleared to safety. And Tolage, oh, so close to his 19th of the season. Uh, here's O'Keefe in possession for the shots inside his own half. Finds Kobe Rowe. Rowe finds Glover. And all the shot confident in their patterns and their movement and where the uh, free player is. His Glover twisting one way, then the other goes back to Harry's. Altrincham are almost out of sight against Eastley. Harry's comes forward. Harfield tries a ball through the middle. It's flicked on by Barham straight to the path of Glover, who just cautiously goes back to O'Keefe. He finds Stokes. Stokes turns, faces up his man. He'll clip a little ball into the penalty area now. He's looking for Barham! In off the post! And Jack Barham's got his goal! Wonderful five minutes from Aldershot. Finally results in a goal for the shots. Jack Barham's 14th of the season. Aldershot town three. Rochdale one. They've started the second half absolutely superbly. Aldershot town absolutely on fire. They could have scored once or twice already before that goal. And they're an excellent through ball in the right channel from Josh Stokes. Tolad's thought about it, but he left it. And then Byron still had a lot to do. He was by no means favourite to reach that, but he got his body in, in between the ball and the defender. 
throw into Aldershot on the left attacking side. Harfield to Stokes, gives it back to Harfield, and then it's half cut out by Rochdale, but only goes as far as Tetek. Tetek exchanges passes with Harris, comes inside, shrugs off his man, which is Sinclair, and feeds Tollad, who sends it out to the right-hand side, where Glover again is really disciplined and staying in space. He's going up against his man, bounces off him, holds him off, he's into the edge of the penalty area. Just inside, finds Stokes, goes for a 1-2. Barham could be in, squares it, half cleared, and then back. And the keeper, Brooks, has snaffled it. A big moment for shots there, half chance for Barham. Maybe even toll edge as the ball was pinging around inside the penalty area, Steve Gibbs. Yeah, it was patient play, good play from Ryan Glover, using his strength to try and find half a yard against his marker. But And then I think in there, there was a good save from Brooks. It was a tightly angled shot, but fiercely hit from Jack Barham. And Brooks stood up at his near post and made one block and then recovered the ball as, as toll edge tried to snaffle any rebound. But And Mike Brown says... Anyone that says dove in as opposed to dived in is not allowed to do commentary anymore. Don't drop your pen again, Rob. Here's Tollad slipping the ball to Stokes. Steve Gibbs can, has the right of reply in a moment. <laughs> but uh, here is Stokes, edge of the air, tries a shot. Well, you heard the groans, listeners. It's just over. Central goal, about a foot, maybe two foot over the middle of the bar. Decent-ish effort. But the execution... I think we needed Ryan Glover to be uh, Usain Bolt. Which is... Oh, lovely ball around the corner from Stokes. Tolledge got the ball. He's going into the edge of the penalty area. Oh, and he ends up shooting straight at Tienan Brooks. And of all the power he's got in his left foot, he didn't really quite get hold of that one. Here's Rochdale with the throw. Demani Mella tries to get it in. Barrett's back there. Lovely little pass to find Frost, who gets his foot through it, plays it up. And there is the final whistle. Three points in North East Hampshire for the shots for the first time since uh, mid December. Uh, well worthy of the win, I'm sure. Goals from Tolladge and Harry's in the first half. And uh, official man of the match, Jack Barham, in the second. Aldershot Town 3, Rochdale 1.